Hi, welcome back to Glow Up With Shelly. I am so sorry about my hiatus. Y'all, I just got married. Yay! I'm so excited. I'm coming to you as a married woman and we are doing a video. It's going to be faves and fails this month because I have so many things that I've tried and I haven't been, I haven't had a chance to share it with you guys. So I'm excited because I've got some good stuff here to talk about. Remember, this channel is all about glowing up, transformative skincare, flawless makeup, and a lifestyle to match. If that resonates with you, hit subscribe. Don't forget to ring the notification bell. I want you to know when I post future videos. Oh my gosh, I tried so many things last month. Well, you know I was getting married, so like I was like trying different serums and I tried different scrubs and I've tried so many things. I've got to share this stuff with you all because some of these were great and some of them were just terrible. I don't want you to make the same mistakes I did and go out and buy the product and try to use it and it's just not what you wanted. So let me share what I've tried with you. So I tried a few different cleansers over the last, I would say month, month and a half. And one of the cleansers that I tried was the Gold Fadden MD Cleanser. This is the Solution Pure Start Cleanser. This is one of their more, most popular cleansers. It's supposed to be a gentle detoxifying facial cleanser. It retails for $38. Right now there's a 20% off on their website, so you can get 20% off if you do wanna pick this cleanser up. It's a three-in-one gel cleanser that's supposed to, as the website says, dissolve impurities, remove dead skin cells, excess oil, and makeup. It's supposed to be a good formula that's non-irritating, and I will say it doesn't irritate, and did not irritate my skin at all. It contains emollients that soften the skin, and it also has surfactants, and those are things that wash away, you know, uh, makeup, impurities, all of that. It also contains hydrolyzed wheat protein, which helps strengthen the skin barrier, and it has oxi antioxidants, grapefruit extract, things that are gonna soften and kind of tighten the skin. It does contain some preservatives that are potentially not really that great for your skin. I wasn't a huge fan of this cleanser. Um, I didn't feel like it cleaned my skin very well, and also my skin felt pretty tight after using it, so I feel like it dried out my skin a little bit, and I have a really oily skin, so if something dries my skin out and you have dry skin, whew, it's gonna dry your skin out big time. My skin never really gets dry, like ever. Like I don't get flaky skin, like at all on my face. Not a single bit of flakes, none. Because my skin is that oily. Like it's always pretty much like oil. Like there's no like, it's not, it doesn't ever get dry or scratchy or itchy. So when I cleanse it with a cleanser, I can tell immediately if it's making my, if it's dried out my skin. And this one definitely was a little drying on my skin. So not a huge fan, but it wasn't a terrible cleanser, right? And it's got good ingredients. So the other cleanser I tried was the Ole, Ole Henriksen uh, Truth Juice Daily Cleanser. This one retails for $33. It's also 15% off on their website if you sign up for their texts and email. That's pretty standard. I always try to get those 15% off. Guys, you can cancel it later. Just get that 15% off, why don't you? This is a daily cleanser that's supposed to deeply clean without stripping while, rema while removing dirt, oil, and leftover eye makeup. That's like legit from their website verbatim, okay? This was really, I had a lot, so I love Ole Henriksen. Like, I think that's probably one of my, like, top brands. I love, I forgot what cleanser it is. They have, they have like a scrub that's so good. Like, it makes my skin feel so delicious. I think it's their oat scrub. So amazing. Like, I really do like me some Ole Henriksen, but this cleanser just didn't do it for me. It felt a little soft. My skin did feel clean. It was a tad tight, though, a tad dry. I uh, had high hopes for this cleanser, but it just didn't pan out. I mean, I didn't even really use it. That's how bad it was. I think I used it three times, and I was like, I can't do this. It just doesn't work for me. So that was a no-go, but... I did try a cleanser that I absolutely loved. It was so good. So let me tell you about it because it's the Pharmacy Whipped Greens and it retails for $29. This is an oil-free foaming cleanser with moringa and papaya. This was amazing and right now on their website you can get 15% off by signing up for texts 
and um, email. And remember, you can cancel any time. So go and get that 15% off and it is $29. So it's the cheapest cleanser. It's one of the cheaper cleansers. And honestly, about $30 is pretty average for a cleanser unless you're getting like a drugstore brand cleanser. And then of course, you know, you might be a, a less than that, but really $29 is pretty good for a cleanser. And with 15% off, you can't beat that. This is an oil-free, foaming cleanser. It cleans pores, dirt, oil, and impurities without stripping. It's definitely ideal for combo oily skin, and I feel like it really did a great job on my oily skin. Um, it does contain um, papaya extract, which is supposed to naturally exfoliate. It contains sodium PCA, which helps maintain skin hydration and promote supple, healthy skin. And it contains green clay, which helps remove some of that buildup without drying the skin out. And I will say this cleans your skin so well. It doesn't get dried out. I really did like this cleanser a lot. And you know, the one that I liked before this was that JLo, that hit single. That was a really good cleanser as well. This one, definitely just as good. I was surprised. I have had, I've tried so many pharmacy products. I think this one I hadn't tried before. It's one of their popular ones, but I really did like it a lot. So, there you go, that's a fave. The other two were fails. Okay, so y'all know that I have do, in the summertime I do do spray tanning. And one of the things about spray tanning is you have to exfoliate weekly. Like it's a necessity. And I always exfoliate twice a week, except for when I'm tanning, I'll only do it once a week like when I'm tanning. And then I'll try to do it again once the tan fades, I'll hit it again and then right before I get a tan, I'll do another um, scrub. So it's really important. It's so important to exfoliate your body skin. You know, we talk a lot about exfoliating the skin on the face, which we know is good for us because it helps increase cellular turnover. And anything that increases cellular turnover is gonna boost your collagen production. It's gonna boost your elastin production. To keep your skin younger and healthier looking, you'll want to make sure that you exfoliate your facial skin. Well, the same can be said for your body, right? Because if we're gonna exfoliate on our face and that's gonna boost collagen production and it's gonna increase cellular turnover, the same thing is gonna happen to our body. I always exfoliate a couple times a week, my body skin as well. I really think that's why I have such youthful looking body skin because I've always exfoliated. Probably for at least the last 20 years, I've exfoliated my body at least one to two times a week. That's super important for me. And also keeping moisture in my body by making sure that I hydrate my body, if not daily, at least every other day. And I usually try to do that when I get out of the shower. It's kind of an immediate thing. Sometimes I'll put lotion on before I go to bed as well. Like if it's a nighttime lotion, I like to use the Gold Bond Retinol nighttime lotion. My God, that's amazing. So good and so cheap too. So you don't have to break the bank, but make sure that you take care of your body skin. So I have a couple of exfoliators here that I gave a try. The first one that I tried was the Fenty Skin Buff Rider Exfoliating Body Scrub. And I hadn't tried the Fenty um, Body Scrub before. Um, this retails for $34. It's made of sugar, salt, and super fine sand, um, as well as fruit enzymes and nourishing oils that gently buff away dry skin. This was a pretty good exfoliator. It wasn't the best exfoliator. My skin did feel a little smoother and definitely felt like I had a little bit of an exfoliation, but it wasn't as smooth. It didn't feel as like exfoliated like it normally does. And it's hard to explain like what exfoliation feels like. It just didn't feel like it was fully like, it didn't feel like my dead skin was fully off. Even though this was a good uh, body scrub, it's a little pricey for the, it was a very light exfoliation. So I feel like you'd have to do this a couple of times in a row in order to get a really good exfoliation so that you could then um, tan. Because when you're tanning, you need to have a good level of exfoliation. So that was a little bit of a bust. It was a little bit of a fail, which surprised me because I love Fenty products so, so much. Their mascara is just bomb. And so I was surprised that the body scrub didn't do it for me, but it didn't. The other body scrub I tried was the Aveda Cherry Almond Body Scrub, which is a sweet floral cherry almond aroma. And this was a, uh, this was 
Aveda body scrub. This retails for $30. It does have some natural ingredients like the uh, sweet almond oil and then cherry extract. It's really gonna help exfoliate off some of those impurities as well. But it also contains um, some moisturizing, moisturizing ingredients, antioxidants. Having said that, however, <laughs> it does contain fragrances and some sulfates, which I don't know why you do it, Aveda. Why do you do it? I don't know why Aveda does it, but they do it. And Aveda has some great products, right? I am I cannot say that they don't, but they often include ingredients that I'm just not comfortable with. So I did like this exfoliator. So I wanna say that, I did like it. It does have some unnecessary ingredients in there that are not so good for the skin, like benzoic acid, which is a preservative, not necessarily great for the skin. It also contains iron oxides, which are also not great for the skin and they're used as a colorant, um, which is really weird because I don't think this has a color. Why they use that, I just don't know. It definitely feels like a great exfoliation. Um, I tend to like Aveda products in general, but some of their ingredients are iffy. They're just questionable. Still a really good exfoliant. Guys, I'm still in the hunt. I'm gonna keep trying exfoliants. I'm gonna keep doing it. I'm gonna find one that's like the perfect exfoliant. I always say that, just like I'm gonna find the perfect sunscreen and I still haven't found either. So we shall see. But this was a good exfoliant. Like I said, there's just a couple of questionable ingredients in there. Other than that, I would give it a pass. It's kind of more of a fave. So there you have it. Those are the exfoliants. Okay, so the other thing that I gave a try last month was the Advanced Snail 96 Mucin Power Essence by Cosrx. Yep. I tried snail mucin for my face. You guys know how I love my snail mucin under my eyes. Well, I decided to give this essence a try. So this is snail secretion filtrate and it's a 96% snail excretion. It's supposed to hydrate and plump the skin. It also contains panthenol, with with, which moisturizes and soothes the skin, as well as regenerating the skin and repairing that skin barrier and holding it all together. Remember, panthenol stops that transepidermal water loss, and that's something that you don't want. But it's also something that increases either over time as you age, if you're going into perimenopause or menopause, or if you have some skin barrier issues. So this is supposed to boost elasticity, it's supposed to brighten and plump and tone the skin as well as improve skin texture. I love this. I, I cannot go without, my skin is so much more hydrated with this snail mucin. It is just amazing. I have to say, I loved, loved, loved this. So I did notice that a lot of my fine lines were just really plumped from this. And I feel like my skin has gotten so much tighter. Like the elasticity in my skin has definitely improved. I mean, especially along the cheeks and the nasal labial folds, um, even up here in my 11s, I feel like I've just, it, they're just so much plumper and you can see those so much less. And y'all remember, like you can see my 11, I know that I talk, like I know I talk about it and on camera and in the lights, it's hard to see them, but they are there. They're just very, they're not as noticeable. Now, if I put highlighter or something on those things, they light up like a Christmas tree, okay? So power of makeup, hello. Power of lighting, hello. But they are still there. And th this stuff helps improve all of the lines on my skin. It's just like they fill in and they plump up and it's just so much better. <laughs> so I have to say, I absolutely fell in love with it and I've used most of it. This one, I'm gonna be buying again. This is a necessity, necessity. I just love the way my skin feels with this. Okay, and then what did the, what's the last thing I tried? Well, I've tried so many things, but I gave the Agency Eye Formula a try. And they put um, tretinoin at 0.002%. They put dexpanthenol at 1%. They put EGC green tea extract at 2% and caffeine at 1%. 
So I've been trying this new eye formula. I really do like it. It retails for $30 for a one and a half month supply. I think it's almost two months supply. I do this at night. I don't do it during the day. During the day I do use my snail mucin and then I have this like brightening cream that I've been trying under my eyes. I'll let you know in the next phase and fails if I like it. But I do do this at night and it is, I have noticed a difference in my under eyes definitely. Um, as far as firmness, hydration, I just feel like my under eyes are looking so, so much better. Y'all, I had a little bit of a crisis. My under eyes were bad during my wedding. Stress, not sleeping, all of those things affect my under eyes. So I have to be really careful and make sure that I take care of the skin under my eyes really well. And this has helped immensely for taking care of the skin under my eyes because you all know I don't want bags, okay? I don't want fine lines showing up. I don't want wrinkles under my eyes. And so I try to do all the things that I need to do like getting all the sleep and making sure that I hydrate and drink plenty of water and don't have, you know, too many processed foods. Like I am so careful about that because of my under eyes because I know that your lifestyle affects your skin and especially the skin under your eyes. That's more affected I feel from lifestyle than anything else. So I make sure to do my lymph massages two times a week because that's going to help that drain. Um, and I also have been using my new face pretty regularly under my eyes especially. I need to get better about using my new face daily, but I do the last week, especially right up to my wedding, I was using my new face uh, eye attachment every day. So take care of that skin under your eyes. And honestly, this agency formula is good. Now I haven't noticed, I haven't noticed like it, like my eyes, overall being tighter. I haven't noticed that yet, but I've only been using this for three weeks. So there is that. Sometimes it takes some time. So I'll keep you posted on this, but just know that I have seen an improvement, at least in the coloring and the um, puffiness from my under eyes. So super happy about that. And there you have it. Those are my faves and fails for the month of June. And so I'm super excited to share this with you and I'll be back next month with the new faves and fails because I have tried so many products that I need to share them all with you. And let me know if you tried anything. Do you like any of these products? What will you be trying next month? And I'll see you next time on Globe with Shelly.